quick! Just before this video starts, the channel has a daily giveaway of 50,000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed to Crypto Millionaire, leave a like and leave a comment. Hashtag Terra Luna. Good luck! Yo Crypto fans, thanks for clicking on that video. Breaking. Terra's dog won comments on fake dogs, South Korea extradition, political ties in Montenegro. What to expect? Watch this video till the end. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and let's get right to it. The court proceedings of Terra co-founder Doc Won and former chief financial officer Han Chan Hoon's big pace recently. Montenegro's authorities expedite their investigations and legal procedure before Terra co-founder Doc Won is extradited to South Korea within the next six months. Death and Dan Doc Won answer critical question this week. During a hearing at the basic court, Doc Won and Han Chan Hoon say they didn't know the passports under the Economic Citizenship program were fake as they traveled around the world with these Costa Rican and Belgian passports. Interpol reported claimed uh, these are fake documents. Doc Won pointed out that he would never go to countries with fake passport. Along with Costa Rican and Belgian passport, they also applied for a Granada passport, which was rejected. The founder said if he is allowed to open his email, he can answer this question correctly. He also asked the court to spare Han Chan Hoon as he hasn't been associated with passport forgery. However, Montenegrin prosecutor uh, Harris Sabotic asked to hold Doc Won and Han Jan Hoon guilty as allegations of the indictment were proven during the proceedings. Judge Ivana Becic will announce the ruling on June 19th. On June 15th, Montenegro High Court approved Doc Won and Han Jan Hoon's bail request. However, at the request of South Korea, the Montenegro High Court ordered extradition custody for up to six months. Terra founder Doc Won denied participation in any illegal uh, financing of the political campaign of the Europe Now Movement political party. He testified before the Special State Prosecutor's Office and the defense attorney that he doesn't have any financial transactions or meeting with former finance minister Milojko Spadzic. Outgoing Montenegro's Prime Minister Dritan uh, Abazovic claimed he received a letter from Doc Won regarding his ties with Spadzic, president of the Europe Now political party. The former financial minister confirmed that his friend and the company he worked for invested in the Terra project in 2018. However, they lost all during the Terra Luna crisis, which is why we had the special satisfaction of reporting him to authorities. Milojko Spadzic also has connections with Ethereum co-founder Vitaly Buterin. What do you think of it? What's your prediction? Leave your opinion in the comment section. Also, don't forget about daily giveaway where you can win 50,000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like and leave a comment hashtag Taraluna. Thanks are gonna get real flasher.